Now, nearby London, the Crown is expected to call more witnesses today in the trial of a man accused of murdering four members of a Muslim family from London, Ontario. Yesterday, the court in Windsor heard explosive evidence. A frantic 911 call was played in court, and jurors saw a video of the suspect's arrest as well. Chris Ensing is covering all of this in Windsor. As I said, this is where the trial is being held. Tell us more about what happened in court yesterday. Some pretty dramatic evidence and testimony, Chris. Yes, Heather, and that's all building up on a agreed statement of facts that neither the Crown or the defense dispute, and that's that 22-year-old Nathaniel Veltman, the accused in this case, was driving a black pickup truck down a road in London on June 6, 2021, when he spotted the Ufsaw family walking on the sidewalk. He made a U-turn. Data from the truck shows that he steered the vehicle towards the family. That data also showing that the accelerator was pressed all the way down and that the brake pedal was never touched. The Ufsal family was out for an evening stroll. Four members died. A young boy survived. What the courtroom saw yesterday was video showing that Veltman brought that pickup truck into a parking lot, stopping it beside a cab that was already parked there. The cab driver was outside of the vehicle at the time, uh, about to start his shift. And in that video, we can see the two talking to each other. The cab driver testifying yesterday that when Veltman pulled into the parking lot, he rolled down his window and told the cab driver to call the cops, saying to the cab driver, quote, call the cops for me, call the police. The taxi driver saying he went on to admit, quote, I just hit someone, I killed someone. The cab driver testifying that he then nervously dialed 911, noting that there was blood on the front of that pickup truck. He called 911, put the phone call on speakerphone, and that call, a recording of it, was played before the courtroom. Me, I, it was me. It was me, it was me that did it. Now come arrest me. Okay, what's, his, what's the plan on the truck? Can you ask him his name? I don't know, but it was me that crashed into them. Get over in the truck. Okay, what's your name? Dave Feltman. Now, during that call, the cab driver then waved down police that were passing by in the road in front. Veltman exits the vehicle, gets onto his knees, puts his head on his, his hands on his head. The cab driver testifying that he appeared to be wearing body armor and had a military style helmet on as well. Uh, Veltman is then arrested, placed inside of a police vehicle, and then taken out of that parking lot, Heather. I'm wondering, Chris, uh, we know the trial is going to be a little bit shorter than initially scheduled. Uh, and you, you just mentioned these are part of an agreed statement of facts. So uh, beyond that, what else is to come today and, and what else will be the key in this trial? Yes, that, that shortening, it does come from eliminating witnesses with the defense and the Crown agreeing to certain parts of this trial and how that will play out. Uh, originally 12 weeks of the schedule, now eight weeks of a schedule. Witnesses expected to be called today and throughout this week and into next week. Uh, what we know from the Crown's opening statement, the prosecutors are saying uh, that Veltman had planned this attack, that the evidence will show that for months he was planning uh, to take a stand to to make this kind of a display inspired by manifestos that were written by convicted terrorists in other countries, far right extremists, the prosecutors allege, and that also evidence is going to show documents were found inside of Veltman's apartment uh, that include writings and a document that he outlines his own political views, saying that he himself is a white supremacist and a white nationalist. Now, uh, the defense here, we've talked to the lawyers. Veltman has pleaded not guilty to four counts of first degree murder and one count of attempted murder as well as terrorism charges. Uh, we have asked the defense uh, what they plan on bringing to the court, uh, but they have said that they are not willing to talk about that at this time, Heather. Chris Ensing from Windsor, thank you very much.